but I definitely need to build defenses. We've got a missile battery there. This is this is water. We've got. Um, I did I upgrade something? What was I going to do? Was I going to do the military stuff? Military base, missile battery. I was going to do spice silos, wasn't I? I was going to do spice silos here. It says it's going to do neighbouring area. No, it's not that one. Right, it says allied villages in the region and its neighbours. 20%. So that should increase. If that doesn't increase, I'm going to be mightily upset. Let's put it there and see. Because we've got two lots of spice production here and here going off. Let's see if that actually works. Hey, Rao. I'm good, thanks. How are you? Nice to see you. Apologies, by the way, to everyone. I've not been around there to stream for the last week. I hope to put that right this week. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on. Just go a bit faster. We're ready to hunt the You're going to lose it, aren't you? you will have it. It's gone. And I've just lost all that. And they've got bloody militia in there now. It shouldn't be too hard to get back, we'll though. Get them. <laughs> they're running off. They're running off like big cowards. Although it is too late now. That's put a hole in my productions quite nastily. It's talking about that, isn't it? A sandstorm detected. Sandstorms reduce production in nearby villages. They may destroy military units, ornithopters and harvesters alike. Controlled villages can shelter military units. Still, the best way to survive a sandstorm is fleeing. I don't have... I don't have um, things around there. What was that? That sounded bad. Combat ongoing. Kill them. I don't think I'm going to catch those guys up, am I? I'm not following them back to base. Right, get me the base back. The village back. I'll take that back. No <laughs> monkey lord. Having a life outside of streaming. How dare you, sir? It's been a very hectic life just recently as well. Good, but very busy. So why is that flashing up two things? Supply drop successful. Oh, because it was two of the same type of notification. That's fair enough then. Uh, might as well use this probe straight away. And let's see if we can explore some of the map. Let's go for... Well, I don't know, actually. It... Oh, these are villages. So I do know these. It's just... Let's drop it on something I definitely don't know. Right. That's more interesting. It didn't tell me that, like it said it was going to. I suppose it reveals it, but not necessarily what it is. That's fair enough. So, my manpower upkeep. What is this at the moment? So the army. So I'm losing 19 a turn. And plus, sorry, uh, plus 30% would be, what, an extra 6-ish? So that'll take it to 25. Um, I, I could afford that. Okay, I could afford that. So maybe I won't waste my influence in that. What do we use authority for? The sieges. Represents a faction's leadership and reach over the regions of Arrakis. It is used to take control of villages. Might be good. Hey, Pan. How's it going? I don't know whether I should blow all my points on that. What does it say? The main base is under architectural survey, so it's 100% damage received and cannot attack and minus 20% buildings construction cost. Hmm. The elected faction gains that. Well, surely I don't want to vote for myself on it. Because when they had one of these before that was... Um, Oh, hang on, no, wait, it does, because it reduces construction costs. All right, so you might want to do that then. Is that... It says main base. Oh, wait, that'll mean the um, the siege. The, the, well, not siege, but the starting thing. Right, okay. I can't afford to do anything with that anyway, so... Uh, do you know what? I'm, I might just do this. I'm going to put 80 influence, 90 influence even into that. Let's see if I get it. We'll go with that. How's this game so far? Pretty good, I think. It seems okay. Whether it's one of those games that uh, you'd get tired of after 
after a bit uh, it's hard to say but at the moment yeah I'm quite enjoying it there's a lot to watch certainly and I'm struggling to build up an army and an economy right 43 remember that number because we're waiting where's my village we're waiting for this to go and then when this is built this is spice silos even though there's no spice production in this bit we're waiting for it to increase this and this and I want to see if the tooltip is correct on it and then I'm going to click on these things here actually we'll pause it and see an LX scientist an IX scientist representatives from X are visiting Arrakis they're interested in a scientific collaboration so we can ask for research funding by or we gain a load of cash we gain one experimental ornithopter but I can't see what that does Find and resolve two crashed ornithopter discoveries. You have less than five ornithopter. Right, yeah, okay, I can do that. Okay. Right, possible. We've investigated this one. So let's get the research for that. Um, are there any crashed ornithopter discoveries? There, there's one there. That's currently the only one, but... Well, I don't know. I wonder if these things just pop up as time goes by. Let's choose that anyway. It gives us, I guess it gives us the option of what we want to do. Combat feels unpolished? Yes, it does. It might be different once we get some base defences and when we get some more units. Why is this guy out of... Uh, out of supplies? They're supposed to be capturing this. They're all going to die here. Hang on, let me let me just go back to a village. We're going. I'm not quite sure why it's not letting me capture this. Is it because there's a timer? It can't be targeted until that timer's run out. Okay. That's that's okay. But I need that one back. Urgently. What's this one? Construction complete. So it did... It did increase... Um, it has increased spice production. But perhaps not by as much as I thought. Maybe because we've got this slider down here. Let's move this up a bit. Somewhere in between would be nice. That, that fluctuates quite wildly. No, no, it is 47. That's what we're producing. Okay. Right, off with that. And the council votes. Um, we can't see what other people are voting for. Makes sense. Let's put it up to 100. I'm going to have that. What do these buttons do? Villages filter, resource. Harvesting team filter. I could put some more harvesters in that thing, actually. Uh, apparently... No, I have. I've topped it up. And now I just need to make sure we keep these guys alive. With missile batteries. And we don't have... We have a recruitment office there? <laughs> Was there a reason I put a recruitment office there? I put a recruitment office there and it was supposed to be a missile battery. No wonder it didn't fire at anything. Right, can we go and attack this one now? Yes, we can. We'll get that back. <laughs> we are all going to die. As you're going to see, the combat is a little bit... And you can't rotate the map. I'd love to be able to spin the map around to be able to see things from different angles. I guess that's a minor niggle. It might be something they, they add in. Go on, fellas. Get in there. Uh, yeah, uh, we don't have access to a lot of military stuff at all at the moment. Right, cancel that. Combat's ongoing, that's fine. Right, this is this is built. This was supposed to be putting a spice harvester in. Oh my god, that's gonna cost a fortune to produce, isn't it? Was this the one with the Oh okay, right, so yes, it has increased it has increased spice production, but not here yet because I haven't built 
No, this can't be the right one. There we go. I haven't built the uh, the harvesting place yet. So that's to do. All right, let's take control of this and get the the plas the plas steel plas concrete or whatever it is plascrete. Yeah, that built. Results. Let's see what happens. So the smugglers got this. So we spent the influence and got nothing. That's a shame. We spent a hundred. We might have been able to beat them if I'd come back at the last minute, but I'd need to keep a, a look on that timer. Uh, so this has gone ahead. So manpower upkeep has increased. Just the, the majority of people have voted for it. How did the smugglers get all that influence to vote on that and that and that? I am trailing badly. Right, so what does this do? Unlock requirements. Nearly there. Allows re-rolling one resolutions during the proposition phase. Judge. Oh, I can do this. Allows the training of Landsrad Guard. You cannot be eligible for this. If I click on it, I cannot be? not quite sure what that does or how to activate it two days before the next council yeah the council is a, is a very busy thing in this oh god here we go again right they're coming in i do have i have a sodding recruitment office which is not going to help me in this fight is it They're just waiting. They're just waiting. Right, first job is the the Plascrete factory. I need to make sure I am definitely clicking the right things here. You guys just get... I'm going in here. I'm going to make sure I'm in on the defensive. I need to upgrade this because there's a... I'm putting a missile battery in everywhere that I can. That's recruitment office. So it's my it's my stupid fault. So the militia are going to come out to play. We are listening. They're not attacking me. Now they are. They don't belong here. So the militia are all going to die, horribly. I'll have to recruit them again. Right, I'm going to pick off all the ranged units first. See if that's the way to go. This actually gives me... No, that's not. That's a fuel cell production. I've got something. This thing here. This gives me unit power of 5%, which isn't a great deal. Can we trash these guys? Because they will heal up if they get away. We did. Nice. Well done. That actually worked. See how they stopped and waited and watched before they went in? Didn't do them much good, did it? I do need to... Right, so the militia, none of them died. That's a massive bonus. So that's cost them a load of resources. I have to watch out, because when I do that, and go and watch a fight over there, there's normally something kicks off over here that I miss. So uh, this is going to cost me five manpower. But does this cost me... I don't think this costs me... Um, maintenance afterwards I'm not 100% sure on that a military base right a lot of the, the buildings give bonuses to adjacent regions as well so it's really a case of trying to plan what you need and where like I'd love to build something here this is unfortunately oh no it is I could build something here and that would affect all these for military fighting. That would be a good one to put in then. Um, could do the factory. It's dirt cheap, and I always right. I need lots of this. This is this is dirt cheap to produce. There's nothing of any value here, so we we'll make could make this a military base area. A raid detected. Oh god, I have militia there. Let me get this gang out. I've not built any... Oh, I have built something here. I've built a missile battery here. Right, let's see if this works. This reminds you of Europa Universalis. I 
thought the combat in that was just a lot more numbers based. Does that give a little knockback effect as well? More importantly, does it cause air of effect damage on my own troops? No, I can't control this this fight. As far as no, no, I can't control that. It's a nice bit of slaying going on. Oh god, hang on. Oh, he's talking about this one. This village under siege, that's okay. That's okay. And we've investigated that, so I'll resolve that one. Are there any more of those crashed ornithopters? Because if I can find another, that would have, well, it would have allowed me to trigger that quest, but uh, I think that's probably going to go, isn't it? Yeah, I can't do any of them. I've got one out of two. Unless I send the ornithopters to go and look for something, but I can't really be bothered manually controlling them all. What's that one? It's just research. I'm not going to get it anyway, because if there's only two, is it what? Oh, there's four days, so it might be possible, but uh, we can't find them anyway. I'm losing cash again. Right, choose. And we can sell more cash because I don't need this massive stockpile. Uh, that's fine. The stockpile is fine for now. We've got... Yeah, I'm going to lose 300 today because I have to bribe the Space Guild. But that's cool. We nearly got these guys. <laughs> Just as the army arrives. Far too late to make a difference. As long as the militia survives, I'll be quite happy with that. So we have a new agent. Uh, I'm thinking, because I don't know, I don't know if the benefit of putting them in there is is worth it. I might start spying on the Atreides and seeing what that does. What does this guy get? Knowledge global production. Yeah, go on, let's put him in there. Oh God, there's so many things. Right, we've paid the bribe. That's good. Uh, this is going to be... I'm getting 13 a day. I have a good stockpile, though, so that's going to that's gonna cope with the next one. I need to get the economy improved. This sandstorm looks a bit grim, doesn't it? Luckily, it's nowhere near my guys at the moment. Did we get that built? Yes, we did. So this should start to improve nicely now. And I should also build some defences. And this one here is building. Let's wait for this fight to finish. So the militia survived. I don't think you have to worry about their health levels. I'm just wondering. A processing plant. Wait, hang on. A long time ago, I was going to build a processing plant here, but uh, I've clearly never developed the tech for it. So you just built this. Excellent. Can you build me a military base? So this is 20% power to ally military units in the region and all its neighbours, which is, is all of this. So yes, let's put that there. That does look like a, a sensible location. Don't think it does anything else, does it? The upkeep is four manpower. Okay, so that's... That's... That's expensive. We need to do something about that. Uh, you... What can you do? The maintenance centre. Oh, God. So this is one of these... So this reduces the cost of all the upkeeps in neighbours... This is, this is something that I find a little bit tiring because of the limited building slots. And that you have to really have to plan where things go uh, very carefully to, to get the benefit of it all. Now what's under siege? Oh, God. I still haven't put militia in there. All right, let's get the army over. We do, however, have a missile battery. That's going to get swamped. It doesn't seem to be doing very much. 
Maybe it only fights if I've got militia there. I don't know. Greetings. Does seem a bit grindy and the lack of biomes is already boring. Well, that's June, isn't it, really? So there's not going to be much variety in the lands there. As neighbours, we have to deal with each other. Let us work to keep it cordial. Can you say that whilst attacking my city? So the missile battery is doing absolutely nothing. And it's interesting that you can target uh, buildings as well. So I wonder if you could go in and like raid. They're just doing a pillage. Which isn't the worst thing in the world. Right, resolve that for cash. Oh, nice. That, that was definitely worth resolving. What's this one? This will give me... Yeah, go on. It's this development. It's the science research that that's, seems to be slow. Well, not that I've built a lot to actually improve that. I probably could. That would. Oh, right. Okay. We need to. God, everything costs bloody money to keep running. What have I got? There's a maintenance center. I better start thinking where I'm going to put those. Winter. Oh, God. Look at the water. The water. I've not looked at this. Not looked at that in ages. Uh, wind strength five, but they have wind traps. Wind strength six, and they have wind traps. Here's a six. They don't have wind traps. Right, build that. Uh, get some militia in here now, because yeah, okay. I'm I'm using the standard sort of formula for that. I don't know whether it's worthwhile. I could really do with not losing this place. This is our home. We'll get their water. What's this going on? This is a trade request. They, they're they going to send me influence and I send them plus Crete and cash. I could afford it. But uh, they can go to hell. It's a special military operation. <laughs> Police action, yes. Yeah, the sandworms did turn up once, Pan. I got a warning saying they'd turned up. Oh, I need to pause it when we go in here. So the next council meeting is going to decide we can have the judge of the council, the elected faction gains. Oh, right. I'm. I might. All right, I might go for this. The. I wish I could click on this to see what this is. This Landsrad guard, but they might be really good. So. Um. I don't care about that. Elected faction suffers. Up creep. I don't care about that either. I'm going to pile my influence into this. Come on. No, they've pillaged me, haven't they? That is done. Oh, did I just get away with it? No, it is, it is pillaged. Right. So we're going to go for the missile battery straight away. And we better put some militia in this. Because I'm sick of this getting conquered. Anywhere that isn't getting fighting, I guess we can take militia out. I don't know whether that's, uh, that's worthwhile. This needs some. Did we not? Oh, yeah, we did. It's just, just building. And this needs the spice harvesters, doesn't it? You want more sandworms? You want a Solaris endgame event of hundreds of sandworms? It might happen. I need to get this thing upgraded. This is this gives me huge bonuses. Extra manpower per village. Military units are trained faster. And I get two training slots. I just need a lot of stuff to do it. And it's very expensive to upkeep. And the economy. So that would give me military development's completion speed. That would give me extra power. An extra armor. So if I build three of these, I get all those bonuses. I think that's how it works. And then I choose what to do in the other slots as well. We'll have to see. It looks expensive. But it also looks kind of important. Right, so the army's survived. The way to do this is to go and trash the other side, I think. And then... Uh, I don't need to worry about them attacking me all the time. Has that built? It's built the unit. Good. 
So it's hopefully... I lose production, but it'll come back once that wears off. At the moment, I'm having to run my army up and down all over the place, trying to maintain all this. Uh, I think we're going to have to stop trading this, because I, I can't afford the water supplies at the moment. I could do with upgrading that. I need a high wind strength area. Three is not good. Uh, five is quite good. I could, I could take that. This is a four. Well, four's not bad. Okay, I'll I'll in, I'll improve it, and we'll go straight in and go for which one's the wind trap. 128. That's going to be there in no time. Again, it's it's more expense to maintain. I need to get the economy going. Right, build that. Keep the water going. The council vote. All right, so. Yeah, I'm going to pile everything I have into this. And I hope these are going to be good. I'll put up that up to maximum. I'm going to have to come back to that in a few days' time. We've researched the ground. Did we research this? This unlocks the barracks building. Oh, I guess it does then. You can press... Um, is it I or L to see a bit more info on the map? Oh, thanks. I'll try that when we come back out. No, it's not sponsored, uh, Monkey Lord, but I, they did give me a copy of this for free um, to show you guys. But I don't get paid for it. It's just... Uh, it's, it's like getting a review copy of a game. Defense systems. Extra militia, extra missile battery. Enhanced fortification. I need cash, I think, is what I really need. Uh, but I need a bit of everything. Logistics outpost. That word... Is this another one? 10% upkeep on villages. Is that on, on everything? Local hubs. Knowledge per village. Resource production in villages with exactly one building. We need we need all the building slots, so I don't I don't understand why we why you'd have a village with exactly one building. But anyway. A spice market. More crew. Your military units are more resilient to sandstorms. Your villages are more resilient to sandstorms. Uh, 35 days to research. That's a long one. 5% resource production in villages per building built on an extra slot. Extra health. Extra plascrete production. That sounds pretty good. Um, I kind of need cash. It's these down here, and these are going to be expensive. Support structures. You can assign one more agent to spacing guild infiltration. Diplomatic maneuvers. You can assign one more agent to landstrad infiltration. Stealth gear. Okay, let's have a look at some of these up here. Dune Wanderers. Minus 30% military units water upkeep. I think that's the one. Okay, let's let's go let's go with that. Because uh, these are quicker to research as well. There are no steel mills or auto plants in Saudi Arabia. Arrakis has an identical problem. <laughs> we are missing production, yes. We could definitely do with, with some more stuff. So, oh wait, what have, I, what have I selected? Oh, this is the wind trap, isn't it? Yeah. Well, we need that because of the water. The manpower, oh God, the manpower, right. I can't, I can't maintain that. Point of interest investigated. Resolve, give me some research. Keep an eye on this. Have I got any extra? Yeah, I'm gonna keep doing this because, no, I'm maxed out actually. You only go up in tens, I will forget. Right, I need more manpower, so where can I... I was building some sort of military base up here, wasn't I? We got... Do I have anywhere with an extra slot that isn't being used? Yes, this. Okay, so... I could do the recruitment office. Eight manpower production. It's, it's only 128. I can afford that one. Siege detected. Okay, can we trade with this? Plus 20. Trade 10 water for 20 salari. Um, yeah, if only I had the water, right. Remind me to come back to that. 